So many land. Dennis, yes. a big thank you for your help. Ah, welcome. That's <laughs> the kind of guy that you need when you travel in a specific country. <laughs> How many people are living here? I was showing the last census. They were around like almost less than less than six. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Uh, today I just uh, landed in Somaliland and wah, 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 it was just a mess to, uh, to come here uh, because um, I got um, some issues in Addis uh, Ababa airport uh, because there was, uh, first of all, there was a lot of traffic because it's New Year in one week. Uh, sorry, not New Year, but it was uh, Christmas for uh, like uh, next week. So a lot of uh, diaspora came back. Then it was a full traffic jam. Then I came back a bit late at the airport and I had to go to pick my drone. The problem is that they just um, uh, took so much time just for a signature and then after they asked me to pay $20, which was not what they said at the beginning uh, last week. So uh, I lost a lot of uh, time on this and then, yeah, it was kind of corruption. So I was like, no, you never told me that. And I had no choice because I had no time. And finally, when I got it, they, they were like just uh, running after me. Uh, just to to pass the security and everything, and I couldn't I couldn't keep my drone in my backpack, uh, like the one that I have, uh, you know, when you go in the plane. I had to put it in my check-in backpack, which is not legal technically because of the battery. And the the problem is that you have also um, and uh, I bought a bottle of wine, of, of uh, Ethiopian wine, for, to come back to to my country. The problem is that uh, when I finally arrived in uh, Somaliland, the uh, capital is Hargesa, uh, then they just, uh, they just took my bottle and they say it's not legal here. I say, okay, it was not written anywhere, but anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. The same for the visa. They were like, What's your, where are you working? And I was like, I'm a tourist. And they were like, tourist? What the fuck? And I was like, yeah, it happened. Oh, what's your travel agency? I travel by myself. So I go to that guy. And then you go to that guy and then paf, I have to pay $60. And I say, yeah, but I already paid $100 for a visa. Oh, but here's immigration, it is different. And I was like, fuck, I, they know how to make money. So uh, it was a bit difficult, but then uh, I just uh, continue. And finally uh, I found a, a guy from Kenya that was sitting close to me in the plane. And then he just, um, he just helped me uh, with the, his driver because he has to go in another city. So at least I got the ride for free and now I'm in the hotel and I have normally a, like a cousin of a friend uh, that is in Norway uh, that should uh, pick me uh, pretty soon. So uh, let's see how it will be and then let's explore the city. So I'm walking alone uh, in the capital of uh, Hargesa. Uh, it's a bit uh, scary to be honest uh, because uh, I'm just white and everybody is looking at me. Uh, the city looks uh, a bit uh, empty, but uh, we will see uh, how it is. It's even uh, scary to record, so let's see how is it going. And, uh, what is your name? Yusuf. Yusuf. And... Uh, Masut. Masut? Okay. And these guys will be my guys for the next two days. Let's see how it will be. Finally some heat for the first time of the day. <laughs>